All right, we're back. I ran out of video uh, storage on my card there. So here we go, third and final part. Um, I went ahead and I already switched around my two little pieces there, fixed my edges there with my hot glue gun, and I reinforced the entire interior. So back to where we were with this bad boy. As you can see, we got grooves right here that this sucker will fit right on into. And this piece here is going to fit a little bit past this first section here and then flush with everything along the back here. So it'll be like, like that. A little bit past here and then you're going to flush it right with the edge. So I'm going to do this part here, that part here, and then merge the whole back. And I'm actually just going to start in the middle here first. And I'm going to push it past about an eighth of an inch. That was kind of cool. I had a little mistake last time that we got to correct. So now you can see it's correcting a mistake is pretty easy. It's nothing insane. EVA foam is super easy to work with. If that had been me doing Papakura, that could have been a nightmare. Like literally anything else, and that would have just been a hassle to deal with. So thank God for that. All right. Same thing on this side. A little bit more blue there. There we go. Right. There you go, eighth of an inch. I'm looking for On the bottom there, eighth of an inch, just on this piece here. And this will all makes sense in just a moment. Alright, so now we cut those little grooves inside there before. You're going to see why now. Okay, see how this is looking like a little bit jankety right there and now it doesn't want to fit? That's going to give us enough give pushing out here that we can marry this edge with the bottom there all the way around this whole shape. So, I'm going to hit the corner first and then just hit this corner here and then feed the whole thing right on through. So, a little bit of a lip. You can see how flexible this stuff is. It's really easy just to pull it out of the way if you got to. And make it fit properly. Alright. That sucker's good. Put this side here. Do a little dab right in this corner. There we go. A little dab.
jab in this corner. And we'll just keep feeding it through. You can see how that bottom lip is starting to take shape now. So it's kicking itself out a little bit there. little bit of glue coming through smooth it on down All right, so see the bottom lip is kind of pushing out a little bit that way now we're going to crimp this in here like this and glue that in place so I'll just put a little bit of glue on the inside. Press it in. There we go. That is the angle that we want. Uniform all the way around. Do it on the other side. There we are. All right. One more big piece left to attach. This bad boy here. Again, we're going to heat it, bend it around and curve it, and fit it right in here. And this one is going to merge all the way, flush up to here, and it's going to sit about an eighth of an inch around the inside of this whole piece here. And guys, first starting off, please be careful with this heat gun. I know I get my hands really close to it, but it's because I've worked a lot with um, hot things for a job, like working with cars, really hot exhaust manifolds and all that. I've built up a tolerance to the heat. First starting off, you're not going to be able to get your hands as close to this, to that heat source as I do. So just be aware of that. Please be safe. I would hate for you to burn yourself doing something that you love. And also, anyone younger than 15, make sure you've got a parent with you if you're even going to use a heat gun like this, because that will set fire to a lot of things really quickly. Alright, so here we go. This is going to fit right on in here. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to attach both tabs again, right in there, and then pull it back. So it will end up pulling this whole form in a little bit more and it'll push out just a little bit of tear on the top to even the entire piece out. Let's 
okay if it pops up a little bit so you're going to press it down this will have a slight little curve up to it like a little step up almost see how it does a little lip up there you want that back with it first. I'm going to pull this right where I want it to be. So I want it to be halfway in this whole shape in the back here. So I'm going to pull it back in, glue it down, and then worry about my corners here. So I'll put glue along this back little ridge like that. And then muscle this bad boy into place. And this foam has got some stretch to it, so don't worry about pulling on it. It can handle it. And it adds uniqueness to the shape when you kind of stretch it into fit to areas. You can see right there how I'm doing this. push this up into the corner there both sides and this sucker has got one more step after this and we are done what should we do here lift it up a little bit off the piece and make sure I'm lined up once you get it set squish her on down There is our heel. The last part to do here is we're going to attach our front little, I guess, um, upper foot guard right to the back of this here. And it will pull this the rest of the way in. And it will be our last step in finishing construction on our boots. And these go right flush. Do the top corner first. And then line it on down with the rest of the shape. See that there? Okay. One and then the other. And 
And now once once this is all dry, I'll come back through and I'll reinforce it with hot glue. But there we are, ladies and gentlemen. There is our left boot there. And here's our right one. Just like that. And then ideally you're going to have whatever shoe you're going to use. I would use something that's all black and doesn't have white or red on it. Everything will fit into place if you've spaced it out enough there. And these little pieces here, I figured out that size on my own, so you're going to have to put your foot inside the heel part of the shoe and the toe part, kind of hold this out and hover it over it, and you're going to have to just figure the space, either with a ruler or kind of eyeball it, and then cut it down as you need to. I cut them long originally, and then I cut little pieces off to get them to fit right. So there's the shoe itself. Again, this will be sitting up higher because I'm going to put it into the groove of the shoe here. So when I go to bend my foot, I'll actually be able to bend without making contact with these two pieces together. So that is the, uh, the shoe build guy or the boot build for you guys. Thanks for checking out this video. Um, next time we are going to be finishing up our shins, so keep an eye out for that. I'm going to be doing that one tomorrow, and it should have it uploaded in a day or so. Again, sorry this had to be a three-parter. <laughs> Battery died first time, and then I just ran out of tape the second time. But again, guys, thank you for checking it out. Drop a comment below. Smash that like button. Smash that subscribe button. Stick around for more videos, and we will see you at a con-con. Later.